Hey everyone, welcome to Mary Goes Global. First and foremost, guys, I want to say sorry for the sh little hiatus that I had. Honestly, I started a job last month and in the end of May too, I was just kind of preparing for that and I've been really caught up with work, so I haven't had too much time to upload, but I'm getting back into it. I'm making time. I will be uploading hopefully once a week or once every two weeks, so I will get on the cycle and have a lot of videos coming, so please stay tuned. But the topic for this video today is going to be the five things that I liked about Korea. So I went to Seoul, South Korea for a study abroad last year. I stayed four months there and I studied abroad at Yonsei University. I can talk more about that in another video. But anyways, I was there and these are what I'm going to share today are just some of the things that I really enjoyed the most. So let's get into it. The first thing that I want to talk about is transportation. So being from the US, obviously, you know, I'm used to driving in my car a lot. Sometimes I take the bus, especially like I'm on a college campus. I usually take the bus if I don't want to drive because it's not really parking and things like that. In Korea, I also took the bus some, but the subway system there is super efficient. However, I didn't necessarily need to go maybe the distances that a subway would be useful, whereas a bus, you know, it'll take you about the same time sometimes. But either way, I like the bus as well because you can see outside, whereas a subway, you're underground. But either way, both were convenient, really easy to navigate, and usually announced in English, you know, the stops, which was helpful for me because, yes, I speak some Korean, but at times, you know, it's good to hear some English explaining just to be sure, especially because, you know, I'm not from Korea, so some things could be confusing. But yeah, the transportation was easy to navigate and not just like inner city Seoul. Also, like when I went to Busan, one thing that I didn't know was that they use the, you can use the same transportation card there, which was really convenient. But at first I didn't know that. So I was buying one, like one use tickets, even though I already had a transportation card which would have been you know helpful to know but either way figured that out we also took a train oh not a train we took a um bus to busan which was really enjoyable honestly you know it's kind of like throw it was like a throwback to like high school road trips on like <laughs> a yellow school bus so you know stopping and what they call a hugeso which is kind of just like a rest stop and they have like food and things there and people can go to the restroom and then yeah so it was nice that's what we did to busan and i also went to gangneung to see a k-pop concert and we also rode a bus which was nice but it was really not that expensive and honestly i didn't want to fly just because i was worried about like going to busan to fly just because it was like you know i could just take a bus but honestly flying would have been cheaper in the long run and um, my mom actually said that it was super easy and she was so glad that she flew from Seoul to Busan so yeah I definitely have to say um, their, their transportation is way cheaper especially like flights within the country so yeah the next thing that I want to say is meeting people so meeting people in the US is definitely I don't want to say it's easy because I don't necessarily it depends on where you are because I live in a very small town and unless you really know people they're not necessarily out all the time whereas Seoul has so many people and I'm sure in cities like New York it's probably easy to meet people can't speak to much to that because I've only really been to New York like twice in my life so but in Seoul it was definitely easy to meet people and really in Korea in general but I think part of that is because you know as a foreigner I stick out so of course people might um, notice me and maybe want to talk to me and so that really helped a lot especially because whenever I wanted to make other international friends pretty easy to pick out people who are not Korean because obviously the majority of the population is Korean but even you know meeting uh, Korean people was just so easy because everybody was so friendly um, very nice and just like willing to help with like literally just ask random people directions and stuff like people are really helpful really nice and it's just nice there's a lot of international community of course it is a very homogenous country like don't get me wrong but in places like seoul and busan like you can definitely find some foreigners and yeah so definitely like that 
The next thing is safety. So again, I am from the US. The US, um, it is safe at times. And I mean, I'm from a small town. It's very safe, I would say, probably safer than Seoul where I live. However, in like big cities in the US, definitely you're not just worried about, um, I would say, you know, ooh, I'm gonna be late. It's If it's late at night, you're probably not trying to go out and about and do too much when it's really dark and it's really late because there's a potential for crime to happen or oh just when you're walking down the street you don't want someone to slit your bag and steal your stuff or pickpocket or something like that korea that i did get my wallet stolen so i won't say that it's impossible because definitely it is however there is cctv and if you lose your wallet more than likely it will get returned however i will say that one of my friend's wallets did get stolen and they did not return it and it also had her passport in it so do be careful but i will say that the safety overall is way safer than the u.s and um i would say it's about the same as japan because i also went there but you know it's a very safe country they have cctv everywhere so they're recording things even the cars have like cameras usually so if you're ever in trouble um i think you know, you have a good chance of getting your stuff back. They really do return the wallets, so like that's something that ha has happened to a lot of my Korean friends as well. And they said, yeah, your wallet usually is going to turn back up. It might not have money in it, but your IDs and all that. So that helped me. <laughs> but yeah, so just just be on your toes. But it really is a lot safer. The next thing is going to be the nightlife. So I really enjoyed going out in Seoul not only to like clubs and some bars with my friends but just like being outside and walking the streets or going out to eat but like really late which was really funny to me because here a lot of places are closed by like 12 a.m or like 2 a.m if it's like a club or something but in seoul like 2 a.m is like the peak time like there's a lot of people out there's a lot of people who are at clubs at bars at norebangs which are like karaoke or um at arcades at pc bongs where you play like pc games or on the computer there's just so many places and like honestly you could even stay in a sauna overnight if you you know for whatever reason if you just want to and they have like just so many options to be out and about and there's always so many places you can go so it's a lot of things open like literally in the wee hours of the day and some of the clubs are even open to like 10 a.m so you really can be out all night so that was fun to experience i really enjoyed it and i definitely want to go back again and see more because you know not just in seoul even in busan it is like that so it's really fun but yeah so the next thing and the last thing of the things that i liked about korea is their clothing and style so one thing about koreans is they dress to impress i mean i think in the u.s there are some people who like really take care of themselves really dress super nice but definitely not the general like average of everybody in the u.s i would say that there are a lot of people who dress down who really don't care who will wear pajamas to go to walmart or something like that that is not really a thing in korea i mean i saw a few times if it was like near where i live like somebody kind of walk out in some sweats but like if it is like during the day people are dressed full face of makeup their hair is done or they have like a little curler to like you know set their hair so they can go to work or they can go to school and then take it out they usually look really good and you know they're matching head to toe they usually have like a designer bag like honestly you know i've seen k-pop idols that look good but like honestly just walking the streets like i probably couldn't be able to tell if someone was like an idol or not because really everybody dressed to that extent like i feel like in the u.s like if somebody was rich or if somebody was like really you know famous i probably would be able to tell by the things that they wear but i felt like in korea really it would be hard like obviously some people did not dress to this high extent but a lot dressed very like stylish very similarly and i think with the trends a lot of korean people like tend to drift to the same trend so it's like one person has a trend everybody's on that trend so like fila shirts everybody adidas everybody had something like that couple outfits with like a, a girl wearing a fila dress that was another thing couple outfits 
I mean, it might be like, oh, we're both wearing Louis Vuitton, but mine is a dress and yours is a suit. Or like, just like your fabric, like your pattern in your pants is the same pattern as my shirt. Like, it was super unique. It was really cool to witness. And I have mad respect for them being able to do that all day because I am definitely not a um, person that likes to dress up that much. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, those were the five things that I liked the most about Korea. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you maybe learned something about Korea that you didn't know. But either way, I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. I will be doing another video really soon, so stay tuned.